last time on Through the Dream Gate. All right, if I see one that's on and the visual. list, you should just go, that's on the list. That's on the list. Hooray! The system works. But he's not always gonna be a noodle. All right, well then we be... can name it Nudes. <laughs> that's gonna be stupid funny later on, and I love that for us. Shoot the beetles. Shoot the kill. <laughs> Just gonna stand there and look like a lemon. Yeah, exactly. Just gonna stand Fuck there and look kid. like a lemon. I mean, all you had to do was just knock it out. You didn't have to kill it. No, I killed it. No, no, and I, now you gotta kill this guy. <laughs> hey, you have Pokemon? Come on! Stomp it into oh, the bro, I'm gonna stomp your fucking wheel. I'm gonna stomp your fucking wheel. Hey guys, welcome back beyond the Dream Gate. I'm Mooney. And I'm Husky. And we're back at it again, uh, ambling through the Viridian Forest. Uh, Seeing if we can level up our mons. You know, it, it strikes me every time we start this game up of just... I love the aesthetic of this kind of pixel art. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, because, I mean, there, there's obviously a charm with the Game Boy Color and the original Game Boy version, but something about the Game Boy Advanced era of graphics and, like, just the way these sprites are are just mesmerizing to me. They're, they're, they're some of the prettiest Pokemon has ever been. I, 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 I don't agree. care the about the 3D. Are great. Yeah, I don't care about the 3D stuff lately. But um there was actually a, a very interesting mod that I wanted to check out called Pokemon Infinite. Which okay. is where that you can have all uh actually it's not all at this point, but it's eight hundred and twelve Pokemon all the way up to Gen 8. Okay. All in one game with this kind of graphics. Right. And you travel from Kanto to Johto and to another one and then it, it, it's all fan made right so it doesn't really it might have a good story but I don't know I can't say from fan fiction but yeah. basically it allows you to um, it allows you the choice of 21 different starters that's a little wild of each generation you get to pick and then um you basically have the quest of filling out your Pokedex of getting all 800 and something Pokemon. Okay. All within these kind of sprite graphics on a, uh, you know, Game, Game Boy Advance. It looked pretty fun. Um, the only issue is that I'm fairly certain that that would be absolutely taxing to get all 800 and something Pokemon, legendaries included. And, well, uh, maybe when you turn 10 years old and go on your Pokemon adventure, Husky, uh, that could be a contender for something we uh, we attempt. Hey, if I turn 10 as a dog, I'm basically on my way out. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're going to wait for me, it'll be a slow gameplay for me because I'll be fucking old. You'll be 85. You'll be like <laughs> yell <laughs> yelling at your version I'm of Brandon. I'm finally old enough. You're like, Brandon. You asshole. You stole all my milk bones, you fuck. <laughs> Gotta heal up the, the mans. Let's, uh, and let's I don't and I don't throw pokeballs, I throw tennis balls. <laughs> Just thumping them <laughs> on the head. But yeah. Right, um let's check. But yeah, that that seemed absolutely taxing, but it also looked uh pretty cool because they also allow, and the reason why it's called infinite, fusion. You okay. can blend any two Pokemon together. Oh my gosh. That's too much power. It, it really was. Um, someone who's been playing that for a while, and I'm sorry I can't remember the YouTuber, but he basically made like a good 50 videos on it. Mm -hmm. And I watched uh, like a short of his. He managed to blend um, Deoxys with Pikachu, and it was literally uh, impossible to hurt because every single type of element it was resistant to okay somehow in that it somehow in that fusion everything was not effective everything was not effective and that's insane he, yeah and he was able to do like some wild in-game abilities okay yeah so his deoxys was just impossible to kill kick his ass snarf do not poison him i swear to fuck Okay. Sorry, I had to yell at a yeah, wheel real quick. No, no, no. I, I, I honestly think that they might have increased the chance. Because I remember that being very rare that you would get poisoned. 
I again, am, I, I I am permanently scarred by losing <laughs> by losing my Pokemon in Nuzlocke in this forest. I'm telling you, I hate yeah. Weedle because of it. Hate him. I I completely understand, but um, I've never tried one of those Nuzlocke. Uh, I've tried the um, the Gen Locks, but not. Have no, you ever done a Soul Lock? Uh, what is that? No, I've so never heard of that. So a Souls Lock is when two people simultaneously play uh, a Nuzlocke, but each Pokemon that they catch at each route is soul bonded. So if in my Nuzlocke, my character, um, my Pokemon that I caught at Route Five dies at a, you know, a Mine gym, dies too. yours dies too. All right. Um, I guess they call it Souls Lock because they meant soul bond, but that just sounds like uh, Dark Souls level bullshit. I mean, a little bit, but yeah, no, it's it's because they're soul bonded and it's a Nuzlocke. I get it. That's yeah. cool, I, I, I guess. My brothers enjoy watching uh, a lot of Nuzlocke Pokemon content, and so I have learned many different Nuzlocke terms because of that. I have not, um, as again, I'm, I'm recently coming back into this from fucking nothing. As a matter of fact, I hated Pokemon up until, like... Like, like a week ago. Four weeks ago. I know. Like, uh, well, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I was like, oh, I'll try Arceus out because my wife has it. And then yeah, I, I remember Arceus, you I'm being like, like I, I, you're like, I, I don't like Arceus. I don't get the point. I think this is really, oh, you know, no. really gimmicky. And I can't believe the Pokemon Company and Game Freak came out with these things. And then a week later, you're like, I've caught 500 Pokemon in Arceus. I'm, <laughs> I'm playing Pokemon Ga Go every day. Like, yeah, I hate the intro to Arceus because of how restricting it is. And I hate game I hate it when games give me an open world and they handhold me for over two hours. And I have timed it. And my wife was like, no, you're exaggerating. And I, and I sat her down, started a new <laughs> game, put on the timer, and when I was finally let go, I hit the timer, it was at one hour and forty minutes. Yeah, but also the game is for up. children. And children I need hand-holding, especially if it's very different than the last Pokemon game no, they played. I, I totally get it, but it gave me the option of, do you want to skip this? And I would always say yes. And with the skip, it would still give me a brief. <laughs> or, like, it would ask, like, do you need to practice more? And I'd be like, no. And it's like, why don't you go ahead and practice more? Level 8. Like, good job, fuck Snurf. You. Yeah, good job, Snurf. Good job, Snurf. What about Torp? How's he doing? Torp is yeah, level he's... eight, so he and Snarf are now the same level. Um, my plan is to get uh, Snarf and Torp at least to level eleven, and yeah. um, the rest of the team, you know, we'll uh, we'll try and get them at least to like level seven. The rest of the team is more of the cheering. <coughs> yes, um, most of these guys are going to be box bros. As I like, oh, sorry, yeah, I hold know on. Whoa. Uh, what uh, 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 I just pushed the wrong button. Oh. What did... Oh. What? I pushed the wrong button on my Game Boy. I know, but I'm like, what button would you have pressed? Like, one of the bumpers? <laughs> Look, I have very uh, wild hands that do what they want. I mean, cat's paws are chunky. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best over here with these beans. Beans? Yeah, beans? these beans. <laughs> Have you never heard anybody refer to, like, a cat's paw pads as beans? No, I'm not, you're the only cat I associate with. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. Beans, dude. Beans? Yeah, because they look like little beans. And if they're black bean, like if you have black paws, then they look like black beans. If they're pink, then they're little pinto beans. I no, did not I've make this up. I've never heard this. I've never heard this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, no. <laughs> whenever whenever uh, my cats are sleeping and you can see their paw pads, my husband will send me uh, a picture of them and he'll be like, look, it's a bean salad. Like, this is a thing. I swear. So I, I know, I, I don't know if we talked about it like on recording yet, but the whole me and the boys looking for beans thing. Did I? Did I? Yes. Okay, so uh, can, can I send you can I, can I send you this image? Yes, you can send me the image. Okay, so I, I will have to why. forward it to the editor though. 
Oh yeah, no, I'll, I'll have him post it there, and even the name of the channel. So it, it's from Circle Tunes. Okay. Is the is the guy who made this, and it was just the funniest shit ever of him like talking about like memes and how they've evolved. And then like he, he here I'll send it to you. And he sent me or he posted this, and he's like, me and the boys at two a.m. looking for beans. <laughs> it's just like it, it fucking killed me. Yep. Nope. I see it. He's like, yeah, yeah true. If you want to, if you want to do a meme these days, guys, you gotta put like a whole bunch of shadow demons in a dark, dank room and call me and the boys at two a.m. looking for beans. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So there was this one Reddit text post during the pandemic that I was completely obsessed with um, about how this woman, uh, she and her fiance were were trying to ride out the beginning of the pandemic together and. She was really concerned, so she bought a lot of beans, right? A lot of canned beans because she wanted to have, like, canned food on hand in case of, like, supply chain breaking down, right? Yeah. So, her... That was the whole toilet paper problem. uh, Yeah, exactly. So, her fiancé posts up on Reddit, and he's like, My girlfriend, uh, or my fiancé took all of our beans and buried them somewhere in the backyard and won't tell me where because she's worried about looters and raiders coming. And when I ask her about the beans and why she would hide them and will she tell me where they are, she she responds with, I would never jeopardize the beans like that. And that (laughs) statement alone gives me so much life. I would never jeopardize the beans like that. That needs to be a quote that we use. Yeah. We need to have a Pokemon named Beans who's gonna be our, like, fucking, like, Like our liner. ace in the hole. Yeah, and any time that we're like, oh, should we use him? No. We can't jeopardize the Beans like this. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe that's what we should name us. our Eevee when we get him. Beans? Beans. I guess so. I'm, it's alright, we can think about it. We can. We don't have to decide right now who Beans No, no, is. no, it's fine. I'm just trying to think, are we going to evolve it or are we going to keep it as Eevee? Because uh, Eevee on its it. own... Okay, well, because Eevee on its own might be, well, a little basic, but it is a very strong normal type. Yeah. Yeah. And since this being Kanto... Well, no, technically since this is Gen 3, can't we get uh, the Espeon and Umbreon? I don't remember. So, I, I do remember that there are some Gen 3 Pokemon in this game. Like, actually, uh, Deoxys himself was in this. I don't think there's a day-night cycle in this game, so I don't think you can get... Well, no, that whole day-night cycle came... Oh, no, you're right. That was in uh, Gen 2. That was in Soul Silver, wasn't it? In yeah. order for you to get an Umbreon, you had to evolve Eevee at night. Yeah, you had to build up friendship with Eevee at night. For an Umbreon yeah. and a uh, daytime there was no for an Espeon. Espeon. There was no Espeon in the second game, actually. But they came out at the same time. Uh, that I've looked up, uh, the Espeon was Gen 3. I'm Espeon sure and Embryon sure. came out at the same gen. Like, I'm going to go to Cerebi. Yeah, I always tell you, go to Cerebi. Don't don't look at just, like, regular Google results. Uh, let's go to Gen 2 deck. Gen 2, yep. Okay, I was horribly wrong. I am now an asshole. It's okay. No worries. Yeah. Kill. Kill Snarf. Snarf is almost to level 9. Oh, there we go. I don't know. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how you're like, admittedly, I I didn't really like Pokemon. I didn't care about Pokemon. And then everything I say about Pokemon, you're like, no, that's not it. Well, it's because like I'm, I'm reading off. I'm, I'm having to like read this as like we're speaking <laughs> cerebrally. And then I'm trying to read them as they are. And I'm like, there's no way that it's like that. <laughs> it's okay. I say Slavion because it's S L Y. That's why I'm confused. No, it's S Y L. Then I'm getting it mixed. I kind of. It's okay. I got you. I need to see this. I also know that you can trade um, those Pokemon from this 
into Gen 3. Mm -hmm. And I actually saw a video, so it's not me, I saw a video <laughs> to where that the only generation of Pokemon that was almost almost impossible to get Pokemon from was Gen 2. Okay. Because that was the one that was left uh, in color, and you couldn't do link tables between Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. Right. But they remade Fire Red. Hmm, Fire Red to get around that restriction. Right. It wasn't until they made Soul Silver and um, Heart Gold that you were able to get a hold of the Gen 2 Pokemon again. Yeah. Easy easily. Yeah. So that was why, like, a lot of the Gen 2 Pokemon weren't in Gen 3 is because the only way for you to do that was in order for you to do a time capsule from Fire Red and Leaf Green or to uh, have a special event happen. Okay. Because you can, yeah, because you can have, uh... And this man, Snarf. Cerebly? Cerebi? Cerebi. Whatever that... Cerebi? Yeah, so whatever that Pokemon is, was mm -hmm. supposed to be the special event Pokemon for, uh, uh, gold and silver and crystal. And that yeah. was, like, a special event that only, I don't know if you can just get that, or if there's, like, something else that pops up in order for that to happen. But I know that was, like, one of the rare Pokemon that was, like, almost impossible to get a hold of until they made Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Okay. Yeah, I think, um, I think for Cerebi it was, uh, difficult because you had to, I think, do a special event to Japan, but I don't recall offhand, so... I, I don't know either. I just remember the guy talking about it, and I'm, and I found it interesting that... Yeah. There was a time, because Pokemon tries to be inclusive with everyone, and as you yeah. said, uh maybe even in another video at this point um that, that's the reason why they do separate versions is they're trying to encourage people to hang out and trade yeah and that what they did with the second gen was just it was just a bad timing and marketing they never intended on it well yeah. i they so expected like, the second game to be the swan song they thought that was going to be the end of pokemon really yeah that's why they actually make you go through all of kanto again in um in the second game because they thought that you know the the first game being so wildly popular was a fluke and they thought there was no way they would be able to recapture that lightning in a bottle again so they made um gen 2 as like a like just the swan song a beautiful goodbye to the fans where they had you go through a whole new world and then you got to go back and enjoy kanto all over again with and... the original Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I, actually, I don't think you could get Squirtle, Bulbasaur, or Charizard, or Charmander. Yeah. I think that was still, like, you had to have that traded to you, or Uh, you something. could get them, but you got them from Red, I think. Um, but I could be misremembering. Maybe. Um, at least from the video that, or the information that I have, is that Red gave you one and it was dependent on the version of the game that you played. Okay, I mean, that that might be right. Yeah, otherwise there was no way to get a hold of it other than time capsules, events, or trading. Karen, don't you die on me. Also, I didn't know this. Um, the only way to get a Gengar in a lot of instances uh, was you have you to, to trade, trade it. it. Yeah, you have to trade a Haunter. So, so I've... I, well, I grew up in an area where I just didn't have kids, and I never had a lot of friends in, you know, elementary school, so I never really got to trade Pokemon. But I distinctly remember having a Gengar at one point, and I don't know if because of that I got it from my brother. You might or... have gotten it from your brother, or somebody you knew might have had a Game Shark. Um... Maybe because I, I I do not remember my childhood. It, fucking Adderall or whatever that shit is is a hell of a drug, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just can't remember, but I distinctly I remember having potions. it. Right. Oh, do we have enough potions? No, I don't have any potions, but I do have an ant. I already healed Karen's antidote. That's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah, we are. We thinking about grabbing a Weedle Boy, or do we already we have We already a have a Weedle. Did you forget all about nudes? Nudes! I did forget about the nudes. It's fine. I should probably send them. Alright. Karen. Jean! Shorts. Yeah. Alright, we'll, oh. we'll find a, an appropriate jorts to go with uh, with Jean. Well, those jeans are now covered in white sticky stuff. Ah, uh, gross. 
that's just it, I mean as God soon as the gross. as soon as the jeans came out, Weedle was like, I got a string shot, bro. Uh, See, doing it again. You know, I think Weedles and Caterpie just are just are good pals. They just love them each other, you know? Yeah. Uh, so out of I, I I don't know if there's more. The only three of these type of Pokemon that I know is Wormhole, Weedle, and Caterpie. And if you had a choice, which one would you pick? Caterpie. Every time. There's Caterpie? no other choice. You would pick Caterpie every time? Every single time. Yeah. Fuck Wormpole. <sighs> Fuck Weedle. I love... No, I love Wormpole. The nope. issue that I have with Wormpole is that I can't choose if it's going to be the Butte Fly or the Moth thing. That's always the issue, is that that's, that's kind of random depending upon its personality. Yeah. But I, I am going to have to fall back and say, like, ah, I, I'd pick Caterpie as well. I, uh, I love mainly Caterpie. Mainly because of the Pokemon. Mainly because of the Pokemon episode of how fucking awesome and badass that Caterpie was. Oh my god, I know. It was the cutest fucking thing ever, and I'm and I still hate Misty for ragging on it so hard. I'm like all that. <laughs> uh, thing and wants the beautiful to do moment when Ash says loved. goodbye and uh, the the Butterfree flies away, like oh my gosh. Yo, that was only like that was in like the first twenty episodes, and I was like, you barely had it. Man, I have to rewatch the uh, the Indigo League Pokemon. I for do free. like to sing the song for it on. Um, uh, karaoke. Yeah, it's all for free right now. And okay. another thing is that when they ended the Pokemon series back in, I think, 2020. Right. Guess what the last frame of the series was? What? Him hugging Butterfree. Aww. He, he went back and found Butterfree. Aww, that makes me so happy. Yeah. Gee. Anyways... Come on. After this fight, on, it might have to be time. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm looking at the time right now. Um, <laughs> it's good. Gee, no! It'll be fine. The shorts were too sticky. Oh my god. Alright, hey, you know what? Uh, we're gonna send out Torp. Torp's gonna be the closer. Torp and the shit. No. Oh, I want wow. him to beat this uh, Caterpie down with his own hands. Just like the fucking, um... Just the, the smack fucking Pokemon that shell. Origin episode of, like... The Squirtle literally chewing the fuck out of the Charmander, <laughs> just beating it shit in. Yes. And Red just screaming at Charmander, "What's wrong?" I'm like, "The Squirtle's <laughs> kicking its ass, man." Yeah. What did you think was gonna happen? Good job, Karen. Karen's at level five now. All right. Uh, let's go. All right. We're gonna yeah. walk back to the Pokemon Center, gang. Um, while we do that, uh, we'll see you next time. All right then. Bye bye.